Let me kick it off like this. My name is Ennis Libby. You are uh, now in tune with Say It with Your Legs Media. That's what the S-I-W-Y-L stands for. Uh, whoever wants to go first, tell me a bit about you guys. Um, so I am Krista Poku. This is my twin sister, Judith Poku. So um, yeah, we are currently based in Toronto, Canada, but we were born and raised in uh, Hamburg, Germany. And um, yeah, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, like she mentioned, my name is Judith Poku. Um, she, we are twins, uh, both, like she mentioned, uh, decided to move here, uh, but we have a Ghanaian background. Um, yeah, and our love for cycling really comes from our childhood yes. because we always, you know, in Germany, it's really normal to use your bike to go everywhere. Um, and we used it to go mm -hmm. to school, to meet friends or on the weekend just to, you know, explore the city, city a little bit. Yes. Um, and yeah, so bike riding was always in our life. And uh, yeah, even now um, I try to make use of like the weather whenever it's good. I take my bike and just ride. Yeah, same for me. So as she mentioned, it's just a passion of ours to um, even when we're traveling to explore the city by the bike i think it's just a different experience and uh, we love it and that's what we want to share with people <laughs> yeah it really started to uh with you know us moving to canada and the bike culture is really different um so it's not as common like i'm not sure if you probably saw like pictures from people in amsterdam and or like other P cities in uh europe yeah where, you, know, you see bikes everywhere and it's really not the same here in toronto at least not if you are not in the core of toronto um and i never had like we've been here in mm -hmm. canada for nine years now and i never owned a bike up to a couple of years ago and I really want to go and I really realized that I really miss cycling um, and I was looking for like a Dutch bike um, Dutch bikes is I guess in North America is more like a vintage looking bike or city cruiser and I couldn't really find one that I really liked and I decided to just import one from uh, the Netherlands directly so I went on and a website on the Netherlands um, and they didn't actually ship it to North America so my brother had to eventually ship it uh, to me and when I was riding on this bike um, people were always approaching me and saying oh this is a nice looking bike and uh, where did you get it from because it's not the style of the bike is not really common here and then so we said like okay maybe we can you know import bikes and sell it since every second time I was using my bike people were approaching me but then we were like, hmm, you know, there's some something missing, like a little bit of spice and style mm -hmm. or like my our personality in this bike. And one day I literally, you know, just woke up and said, huh, why don't I cover this mudguard in a particular pattern just to make it more unique and standing out from the crowd kind of thing. And uh, while I was even we were before jumping on this interview, we were talking about, you know, Actually, we always had unique looking bikes in some way, uh, whether it would be like a mm -hmm. cruiser instead of like a normal Dutch or vintage cruiser or like a bike in a particular color. Um, and I guess this is really part of our personality just to express ourselves. And so when I imported this bike, I was like, OK, you know, let's further customize it. And so we uh, actually have like uh, the Kente print on the mud guards right now. Uh, Kente mm. is something yeah. our, we are from, both from Ghana, our heritage, our backgrounds are from, we are Ghanaians. Uh, and this is really a well-known pattern um, that you really see all over the place. And we really wanted to have that on yes. the bike. Um, I, we uh, got a bike, a sample bike, um, and then you know, put it on. And the first time when we stepped up, I stepped outside, people were already approaching us. And we were like, okay, well, I guess we have something here. Yeah. Um, it's really, as she mentioned, like to personalize something, we just, we didn't just to, we didn't just want to, you know, be just another bike company, right? In Europe, we have a lot. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we wanted to add something unique. And we figured that, yeah, this is something we could share with people. I guess we're not the only ones who want to have a unique looking bike. 
a bike that also represents you in a way, right? So if we are both Africans, um, mm -hmm. and to have like a bike with African print is really unique and like, and we want others to give a chance, um, you know, um, to express themselves through, you know, a bike, not just clothes or other things you have, right? So, and where we want to go with this, eventually we also want to offer different patterns, but for now we have this African pattern going on. I mean, we launched uh, in September, I yes. guess, and right from the start, people were asking us. So whenever, because we are also doing Instagram reels, so we are always outside and creating new videos that we can post on Instagram. And we noticed that every time we step out outside and, you know, people are kind of looking, what are you guys doing? And they're always like, oh, I love your bike, even if, the, even if we didn't express what we're really doing. But first thing is always the mm -hmm. bike is like an eye catcher yes so um definitely yeah, yeah so the feedback has been really good and um which makes us much more excited um excited to go on this journey right where we see where how far we can push it so um yeah as she said like the feedback is always great and um as of now we only selling in north america but i mean if the feedback is great in north america i'm sure in europe it will be the same <laughs> For now, it's North America, but um, we are both from Europe, right? So eventually, we're going mm -hmm. to um, branch out to Europe, and um, we are working on that right now. We don't know when exactly we're going to start selling in Europe, but that's definitely on in the, the future, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it started as a passion project, and we really want to see where we go, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, we have both our corporate jobs, and we're doing that on the side. If we can eventually make it our main business or you yeah. know, can leave our corporate jobs, then that will be amazing. Yeah, so that's definitely mm -hmm. our uh, goal, to make it as big as possible, right? So, um, and while we are on that journey we're enjoying it because it's it's also fun it's not just work for us it's fun we enjoy it and that's really what we want to bring to the world so as of now it's a side business but our goal is to make it a, a our full-time job or a main business i connect fun um community um and yeah just quality time in a way yeah so um for us it's more yeah. like with the business we're starting for us it's more than uh just a transportation tool to get from a to b it's really like to have fun with it to enjoy yourself and to express yourself this is the rhythm of the Yeah, so we are Judy and Crystal Poco. Um, so she's Crystal, by the way. I'm Judith. <laughs> and uh, we are running from Poco, uh, the bicycle company. And uh, we are enjoying bicycle rides. And we want to bring this joy and fun to everyone who is interested to join us on that journey. <laughs> Like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.